Hey guys, it's Dean. Welcome to Manflow Yoga. You are about to watch a workout from the Posture Fix program. The Posture Fix program is 50% off all through the month of September, and we've got a Posture Fix challenge starting on Monday, October 2nd. Head to manflowyoga.com slash PFC to learn more. Enjoy the workout. Hey guys, it's Dean. Welcome to Manful Yoga. This is spine and hips, strength and mobility, level one. So we're going to be doing a lot of hip and spine work, and this is a lot of core work involved, but ultimately it's going to help strengthen your hips, make your spine more resistant to injury, make it feel better, and also improve the foundation, uh, the foundation of your body. All right, let's get going. So you're going to start on your, on, on, the ba on your back, on the ground. I'm going to have you just lay down under your back, and bring your knees over your hips. And if you have a block, actually, if you have a block, put it between your thighs. If you don't have one, that's fine. Squeeze the block between your thighs and then press your hands into your thighs and push your thighs back into your hands. So we're just gonna do this for about three breaths and you're going to feel your hip flexors, your abs, and your inner thighs turn on. So a lot of your core turning on here. If you have that block, squeeze it between your legs. And if you don't, squeeze your legs toward one another. Keep pressing into your thighs with your hands. You can keep your shins relaxed. One more breath here. And then go ahead and relax. And then from here, we're going to do one leg at a time, leg lifts. So bring one leg straight out, and then bring your left knee over your hip, and then bring that leg straight out. Hold the leg up like so. And we're just holding this leg. So we're working on your hip flexor. We're working on your abs. And then you can bring that back in and then switch sides. So now right leg is in. Now bring that right leg out. Just work on holding up the leg. So this is really basic, but it's incredibly important that you are able to do this for the strength of your hips and your core. And then again, go ahead and switch sides. So left leg in and then straight out. You can keep your head relaxed on the ground if you want to. You can also try this from a seated position. So if you want to sit up and try this, so sitting up nice and tall and then just lifting up your leg like so, that could add a degree of difficulty. And then one more each side, so lifting up your leg, using your hip flexor strength to hold it up. If you are sitting up, you want to sit up as tall as you can. And then again, switch sides. So just holding your leg up. And again, developing basic hip strength, developing core strength. And go ahead and release. All right, from here we're gonna go to recline twists. I'm gonna have you lay down onto your back. Knees over your hips. Bring your arms straight out to the sides. And you're going to bring your legs from side to side. As you inhale, bring your legs over to the right. Keep your left shoulder down. As you exhale, Tighten your abs and bring your legs back to the middle. To the left, inhale out. Exhale back to the center. Tighten your abs as you bring it back. So we're just doing five to each side here. Exhaling back to the middle. Keeping the shoulders down. Keeping your head and your chest facing straight up. You want to move slowly with your breath. And you might feel some opening up in the lower back here. That's also one of the other results of this exercise. We're working on opening up your lower back, creating space in your spine. We're also strengthening your core. Inhaling out. Exhaling back to the middle. Back to the middle. And then one more of these. So these are just reclined twists. Very good for relieving back stiffness, strengthening your spine, strengthening your core, and working on spine mobility as well. All right, from here, we're gonna move to one leg reverse crunches. So I'm gonna have you grab your right leg, bring your left leg straight out in front of you, hold your left leg about six inches off the ground. You can keep your head down or bring your shoulders up if you want for a little more difficulty, and then switch sides. Bring your right leg out, drive the heel forward, and then switch. 
If this is easy, you can do both legs at once. So both legs go straight out and then pull your knees back in. Or keep it with one leg. I'll leave it up to you. You shouldn't feel any pain in your back when you're doing this. You should feel this in your core and in your hips. If you have pain in your back, bring your leg up a little bit higher, especially if you're doing both legs here. Start with your legs high and then bring your legs low as you get stronger. One more each side. Just lightly gripping your knee and keeping that leg about six inches or a foot off the ground. Both legs back in. All right, those were reverse crunches or single leg reverse crunches. We're going to move into a bridge from here. So you're planting your feet about six inches apart. Squeeze your thighs toward one another. Bring your feet in close to your butt. Tighten your abs. So just squeeze your abs as much as you can. Bring your arms along your sides and then lift your hips. Squeeze your legs toward one another as you're doing this. You want to have a straight line from your knees to your shoulders. So make sure that you're not pushing your hips up as high as you can and, and feeling pinching in your back. That's not good. We want to have a nice straight body. So thighs squeezing toward one another. Your glutes are going to engage here. Your abs are tight and your arms are just relaxed along your sides. Weight is in your shoulders, not in your neck. Breathing in and out of the nose here, strengthening your glutes, strengthening your spine, your core, and also stretching your hips. One more breath here. And then release down. Bring your knees back into your hips. Get a little stretch for your lower back. And we're going to turn onto your side from here for some single leg uh, hip adductions. So I'm going to have you lay on your side like so. Cross your left leg over your right leg so you're balancing on your, you're planting your left foot on the ground. And you want to lay completely sideways here. So make sure that your hips aren't facing up, but they're facing straight out to the side. And you can steady yourself with your right arm however you want. Now you're going to squeeze your right thigh toward your left thigh. So just squeezing the thigh up, lifting it up a little bit for five seconds, and then setting back down, relaxing, and doing it again. So driving the heel forward as much as you can, and just squeezing the thigh up. So you're not going to turn the ankle up like this. You're just lifting the leg, and then relaxing it back down. So a couple more of those. Again, make sure your hips are facing straight out to the side. This is all about the inner thigh. Release down. One more. And release. Okay, and we're going to switch sides. So just spin around or turn over. Now you're going to bring the right leg over. You're going to drive your left heel straight out. Make sure your hips are facing out to the side. Squeeze your left leg up. Trying to get that leg as high as you can, keeping the leg straight. And then release down. So just five second burst. Squeeze the leg up. Keeping the leg straight, driving the heel forward, locking out your knee, and releasing down. <sighs> Keep going. So the goal of this exercise is to strengthen your inner thigh. It's to build muscle awareness, to build body awareness, so that when you use this in full body exercise, those muscles turn on automatically. We have to train your body. We have to train those muscles to activate, though. They won't do it automatically. One more of these. Okay, from here we're going to move into donkey kicks. So these are a great exercise for turning on or strengthening your glutes. So you're going to go into a tabletop position with your hands <coughs> under your shoulders, knees under hips, and you're going to bring your right heel toward your butt, press your leg up as high as you can, and then over to the side. So notice that I'm pushing my heel up first and then over. I'm not just going straight out to the side like this. I'm pressing up as high as I can and then going up and over. So if you were to look at me from the front, here's what this looks like. Going up and then over once I've gotten the leg up. Abs are going to stay tight. And you're just going to hold this for about five seconds and then release it back down. And so just like those sideline hip adductions, which we just did, this is focused on getting that glute, the back of your hip, to turn on for your butt muscles. Keep going. Pressing the heel up, squeezing your heel toward your butt, getting the leg up as high as you can, and then releasing down. All right, so switching sides. Hands under the shoulders again. 
Press your left heel up as high as you can and then over toward the right. And your goal here is to feel the left, <laughs> trying to balance. The goal here is to feel the left glute turn on here. So strengthening that muscle and then releasing down. Keep it up. So again, just five second burst is going to be very good for helping to turn on your glutes, to strengthen your glutes, building that muscle awareness. A couple more. Getting it up as high as you can and over as much as you can, but keeping your shoulders and your hips squared as much as possible. One more. Pressing up, squeezing your heel toward your butt, pressing it up higher, squeezing your heel in more, and then releasing down. All right, so back might feel a little tight after that. That's totally natural, that's fine. We're gonna go into a child's pose now. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that workout. Again, we've got the Posture Fix Challenge starting on Monday, October 2nd. Get 50% savings on any option of the Posture Fix program now until it starts. Learn more at manflowyoga.com slash PFC. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed the workout, and I'll see you on the next video.